Thank you.
Picture this, a cat, a cucumber and a kitchen floor. You can imagine the hilarity that ensues. Now we're diving headfirst into the world of feline antics and their inexplicable fear of cucumbers. It's a phenomenon that has taken the internet by storm and today we're here to explore it in all its glorious absurdity. From the sleek Siamese to the chubby British short hair, no cat breed is immune to the cucumber conundrum. It begins innocently enough, with a cucumber placed strategically behind an unsuspecting cat. The cat, blissfully unaware of the green intruder, goes about its business. Then, in a moment of pure comedic gold, the cat turns around, spots the cucumber, and in a flurry of fur and claws, leaps into the air with a reaction that can only be described as sheer panic. But what is it about cucumbers that send our feline friends into such a frenzy? Some animal behaviorists speculate that it's because the elongated shape of a cucumber resembles a snake, triggering an instinctive fear response in cats. Others believe it's the sudden appearance of an unfamiliar object in their territory that shocks them. Whatever the reason, one thing's for sure, it makes for some truly hilarious moments. Whether it's a tabby cat jumping three feet into the air, a Persian cat scrambling away in a sideways gallop, or a Maine Coon cat puffing up its fur in alarm, these cucumber capers never fail to tickle our funny bones. Each cat's reaction is a delightful testament to their quirky personalities and the endless entertainment they provide. And yet, amidst the laughter, let's not forget to be mindful of our furry friends' feelings. While their reactions are undeniably funny, it's essential to remember that we shouldn't stress out our pets for a quick laugh. So next time you're tempted to prank your cat with a cucumber, maybe opt for a gentle game of string chase instead. Who knew a simple vegetable could cause such a feline frenzy? Ever heard of the phrase, curiosity killed the cat? Well, luckily these cats have nine lives. For our feline friends, the world is one giant playground and they're the daredevils willing to explore every inch of it. High places, no problem. They're the unchallenged acrobats of the animal kingdom. Who needs ladders when you have agile paws and a spirit brimming with audacity? Case in point, cats on top of doors. Yes, you heard that right, doors. It's as if they're challenging Newton's law of gravity. While we humans can only watch in awe and a little bit of trepidation, the way they balance themselves up there, it's like watching a tightrope walker, but with more fur and less safety net. Not to mention, it gives them the perfect vantage point to survey their kingdom. Moving on from door tops, we have our furry explorers venturing into the world of vases. Now one might wonder, how can a cat possibly fit in a vase? Well, cats have a knack for making the impossible possible. Their flexible bodies allow them to squeeze into the tightest of spaces, and their curiosity makes them brave enough to give it a go. Vases, for them, are just another intriguing cave to explore. Then we have the high shelves. To us, they might be useful storage spaces or aesthetic elements of our home decor. To cats, they're the Everest they must conquer. It's almost as if they're trying to reach for the stars, or at least the ceiling. There they sit perched upon their lofty throne, looking down at their human subjects with an air of feline superiority. In the end, whether it's tops of doors, inside vases or on high shelves, cats never cease to amaze us with their adventurous spirits. Their ability to turn ordinary household items into extraordinary playgrounds is truly a spectacle to behold. Cats certainly do have a knack for getting into the strangest of places. 
in the battle of cats versus technology, who will win? Now we've all seen the classic standoff, a cat, eyes wide, tail flicking, facing off against the household vacuum. It's a battle as old as time, or at least as old as the invention of the vacuum cleaner. But what you might not know is that cats have a long history of squaring off against various forms of technology. Take printers, for example. There's something about the sudden whirring and spitting of paper that seems to trigger an instinctive reaction in our feline friends. Some cats crouch, ready to pounce, while others take a more direct approach, swatting at the offending machine with all their might. And let's not forget the feline fascination with the mysterious red dot produced by laser pointers. It's a chase that never ends, a game that never gets old. Then we have the drones. These high-flying machines with their buzzing propellers are like giant airborne bugs to our curious kitties. Cats will leap, swat, and even risk their famed nine lives to catch these elusive flying machines. But it's not just about the chase. Sometimes technology can turn into an unexpected source of entertainment for cats. Have you ever seen a cat entranced by a fish screensaver on a computer monitor? Or a kitty batting at a moving cursor on a touchscreen? It's a simple reminder that, at heart, cats are playful creatures, always ready to turn anything, even a piece of technology, into a toy. Technology has certainly brought a new dimension to the lives of our cats. It's given them new enemies to vanquish, new games to play, and new ways to interact with their environment. But who's the real winner in this battle? Well, from the endless entertainment provided by their antics, it might just be us, the spectators. And so, as our compilation draws to a close, we must tally the score. With their endless curiosity, relentless determination, and comical reactions, our feline friends have certainly put up a good fight. But based on the evidence at hand, it's safe to say technology. One, cats, zero. Cats can sleep anywhere in any position and it's hilariously adorable. From the tops of bookshelves to the depths of laundry baskets, our feline friends have a knack for finding the most peculiar places to catch some Zs. And let's not forget about their acrobatic sleeping positions that defy the laws of comfort. It's as if they've mastered the art of contortion in their dreams. Picture this. A cat sprawled out on a windowsill, one paw hanging in midair as if reaching for an imaginary mouse. Or how about the classic belly-up pose, where they shamelessly expose their fluffy bellies to the world, limbs splayed in all directions like a furry starfish. Then we have the pretzel. A cat curled up so tightly that its tail brushes its nose, forming a perfect circle. It's a marvel how they manage to breathe, let alone sleep comfortably in such a position. But hey, who are we to question the ways of the cat? And who could forget the draped over position? This is where a cat casually drapes itself over an object, be it the back of a couch, a stair railing, or your laptop while you're working. It's as if gravity doesn't apply to them. There's also the face plant, a position that seems incredibly uncomfortable yet is oddly popular among our feline companions. They just plunge their face into a cushion or even the floor and drift off into dreamland. And finally, we have the Sphinx, where a cat sleeps upright with its paws tucked under its body, resembling the ancient Egyptian statue. It's a majestic sight, especially when they suddenly jerk awake, looking around nonchalantly as if they weren't just dozing off in the most dignified manner possible. From the ridiculous to the sublime, these sleeping positions are just further proof of the endless charm and quirks that make cats such beloved pets. It's a cat's world and we're just living in it, enjoying every amusing moment they bless us with. Who needs a bed when you're a cat? Are these cats imitating us or are we imitating them? It's a question that's as old as human feline cohabitation. And today we're about to dive into the world of cats and their uncannily human-like behaviors. You might have seen a cat sitting on a chair, upright, just like a human would. It's quite a sight to behold. The back straight, the paws resting gently on the table, and that nonchalant gaze that screams, yes, I'm comfortable. It's an amusing act of mimicry that often leaves us wondering if our feline friends are trying to join the human club. And what about cats using a toilet? This is a behavior that's not just amusing to watch, but also quite practical. With a bit of patience and training, some cats can learn to use the toilet, giving the litter box a run for its money. It's a testament to the intelligence and adaptability of these fascinating creatures. But perhaps the most intriguing of all is when cats appear to talk. Now we all know that cats can't really converse in human language, but that doesn't stop them from trying. 
From meows that sound suspiciously like hello, to purrs that resemble a contented mmm, our feline companions often seem to be attempting to bridge the communication gap between their species and ours. These behaviors are not just entertaining, they also offer a unique insight into the world of cats. They reveal their intelligence, their adaptability, and their uncanny knack for observation. After all, they must have learned these behaviors from somewhere, and what better teachers than their human companions? So, the next time you see your cat sitting on a chair, using the toilet, or talking, take a moment to appreciate the complexity of these creatures. They're not just pets, they're intelligent beings, capable of learning, adapting, and even imitating. And remember, it's a cat's world, we're just living in it. Even the most graceful of cats have their clumsy moments. Welcome to the world of the great cat fails. Picture this, a cat, poised and ready, eyes locked on its target. Its muscles tense, ready for the perfect leap. But alas, the jump is a smidge too short, and our feline friend ends up not on the countertop, but on the floor in a fluffy heap. Oh, the humility. And let's not forget about the slippery surfaces. The kitchen table with that deceptively slick polish. The leather couch that's just a tad too smooth. Who among us hasn't chuckled at a cat skidding off the edge, only to land on all fours with a mildly offended look? It's not their fault physics decided to play a trick on them. Then there are the cats who think they're acrobats, swinging from curtains, attempting to scale bookcases or trying to balance on the slenderest of railings. Despite their best efforts, gravity often has the last laugh, turning their acrobatic dreams into comedic gold. And how about those cats who miscalculate their own sizes? The ones who try to squeeze into a box that's two sizes too small, or attempt to creep through a gap that's just not quite big enough? The struggle is real, and it's hysterically funny. Let's also raise a toast to the cats who just can't quite get the hang of toys. The ones who spin in circles chasing a laser pointer, or the ones who pounce at a toy mouse, only to miss it by a country mile. Their determination is admirable, their failures endlessly entertaining. Yes, our feline friends might not always stick the landing, or make the jump, or catch the toy, but that's what makes them so endearing. It's in these moments of unbridled, uncoordinated enthusiasm that we see the true spirit of these adorable creatures. So here's to the great cat fails, the moments that make us laugh, the moments that make us go, oh, and the moments that remind us. Even in their clumsiest moments, cats are still the cutest. Who's that cat in the mirror? Welcome to the seventh scene, where we dive into the whimsical world of cats and their first encounters with mirrors. Imagine waking up one day and seeing another version of yourself, staring back with the same curious eyes. That's the reality for our feline friends when they first stumble upon a mirror. It's a simple household object for us, yet it opens up a whole new dimension for them. Cats, being the curious creatures they are, don't shy away from this new discovery. Instead, they take a tentative step forward, paw outstretched, trying to touch this mysterious other cat who mimics their every move. It's a dance of duality, a ballet of bewilderment. Some cats, emboldened by curiosity, take the encounter head on. They pounce, they swipe, they hiss. But no matter how fierce their attack, the cat in the mirror remains unscathed, matching their intensity with an equal measure of bravado. Then there are the cautious ones, the ones who approach the mirror slowly, cautiously, their eyes wide and alert. They're not quite sure what to make of this mirror cat. Is it a friend? A foe? Or maybe, just maybe, it's a portal to another world where cats rule the earth and humans are the pets. But the funniest reactions come from those who try to outsmart the mirror cat. They'll circle around, peek behind the mirror, even try to dig under it. But no matter what they do, the mirror cat is always one step ahead, perfectly copying their every move. And then, after all the exploring, the fighting, and the outsmarting attempts, they finally realize that the cat in the mirror is none other than themselves. It's a moment of self-realization, a moment of feline enlightenment. But just because they know the truth doesn't mean they'll stop playing with their reflection. After all, who could resist the allure of an ever-ready playmate who's just as curious and just as playful as they are? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest feline of them all? Well, in the eyes of our cats, the answer is always themselves. Synchronized swimming? How about synchronized catting? Picture this. An ordinary living room transformed into a stage for the mesmerizing performance of feline finesse. It's not just about one cat moving gracefully, it's about two, three, or even four cats moving in perfect unison. 
as if choreographed by some unseen maestro. Imagine a chorus line of cats stretching in unison, their tails swishing to the same rhythm, their eyes focused intently on the same unseen point. It's ballet, it's opera, it's a Broadway musical, all rolled into one and performed by our favorite four-legged friends. Now think about a pair of cats, their paws moving in tandem as they battered a piece of string. The timing is impeccable, the precision is astonishing. It's as if they've rehearsed this routine for days. But no, this isn't the result of rigorous training or countless rehearsals. It's just another day in the life of these synchronized cats. And then there's the synchronized grooming, a sight to behold. Two cats side by side, licking their paws and washing their faces at the same time. It's a mirror to feline cleanliness, a testament to the innate elegance and grace of our feline companions. But it's not all serious and graceful. There's a comedic side to this synchronized catting too. Picture a trio of cats, startled by a sudden noise. In perfect unison, they leap into the air, their fur standing on end, their eyes wide with surprise. And then, just as quickly, they land back on their feet, looking around sheepishly as if to say, did anyone see that? Yes, we saw it, and we can't help but be amazed. These cats, with their coordinated movements and synchronized antics, have turned the ordinary into the extraordinary. They've taken the simple act of being a cat and turned it into a performance art. So let's raise a toast to these feline performers, these masters of synchronized catting. And the gold medal for synchronized catting goes to... When cats meet babies, the result is a cuteness overload. Let's dive into a world filled with tiny fingers, fluffy tails, and heart-melting moments that make you go, awe. Imagine the scene, a baby's first laugh, not from a tickle or a silly face, but from the gentle, playful pounce of a curious cat. The feline's soft fur brushing against the baby's chubby cheeks, sparking a cascade of giggles that echo through the room. It's an enchanting symphony of innocence and joy, the kind of pure happiness that can only be found in the simplest of interactions. Now picture a cat, usually a solitary creature, curled up next to a sleeping baby, their breaths in sync, creating a rhythm that's almost meditative. The cat's purring lulls the baby into a peaceful slumber, a testament to the unspoken bond that exists between them. It's a bond built on trust, a trust that speaks volumes about the cat's understanding and acceptance of the baby as part of the family. But it's not just about the calm moments, it's about the playful chases, the tug of wars over toys and the shared mischief that lights up both their eyes. There's a kind of magic in the way a baby's babble can engage a cat, a language all their own that we as adults can only marvel at. Consider the heartwarming sight of a baby mimicking a cat's meow, a precious echo that forms their first steps towards communication. It's a unique connection, a beautiful testament to the universal language of love and companionship. And then there's the comfort, the inexplicable calm that seems to wash over a baby when they're in a cat's presence. It's as if the cat's serene demeanor, their silent assurance creates a safe haven for the baby, a quiet refuge from the bustling world around them. So whether it's through shared naps, playful antics, or quiet companionship, the bond between cats and babies is truly something special. It's a relationship that transcends language barriers, a friendship that defies age and species. Cats and babies, a match made in cuteness heaven. Now let's revisit some of the funniest moments from our feline friends. We've seen cats in all their glory, from their daring capers to their high-flying antics. Remember when we saw that cat in the great cat caper, pulling off a daring heist of a feathered toy? Or how about the cats in high places, defying the laws of gravity and fearlessly scaling towering bookshelves? Then we moved on to the battle of cats versus technology. From befuddlement at the sight of a vacuum cleaner to outright war with printer paper, cats showed us that they're not fans of the modern world's gadgets, but they sure know how to make us laugh with their adorable confusion. And who could forget the hilarious sleeping positions? Cats snoozing in bowls on top of doors hanging off the couch, proving once again that they can sleep anywhere, anytime, in any position. Next, we saw cats mimicking human behavior, answering phones, turning on faucets, even attempting to read books. They may have nine lives, but they also seem to have a bit of human in them too. The great cat fails had us in stitches, cats missing their jumps, sliding off tables, getting stuck in boxes. It's all in good fun, and they always land on their feet, right? Then, the mirror showdown. Cats discovering their reflections for the first time, resulting in some truly priceless reactions. 
The synchronized cat segment was a sight to behold. Two or more cats moving in perfect harmony, as if choreographed by a feline Fred Astaire. And finally, the heartwarming interactions between cats and babies. From gentle paw pats to hilarious games of peekaboo, these moments were as sweet as they were funny. And there you have it. Proof that cats really are the comedians of the animal kingdom. Ever wondered why kittens find a simple ball of yarn so fascinating? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. Picture a group of playful kittens encountering a multicolored ball of yarn for the first time. Their initial reaction is a blend of curiosity and caution. They're intrigued, but not quite sure what to make of this new and colorful object. Each kitten takes its turn, edging closer to the ball, eyes wide and whiskers twitching in anticipation. They're silent, their tiny hearts beating fast with excitement and a dash of uncertainty. It's a dance of cautious curiosity, a delicate ballet played out in the world of feline intrigue. Then out of nowhere, the bravest among them makes the first move. With a swift and playful swat, the ball of yarn rolls across the floor. The kitten's eyes light up with delight and surprise. And with that first swat, the games have begun. Watch as these kittens transform this simple ball of yarn into an object of delight and intrigue. Here in our feline kingdom, the yarn games commence. Each kitten, a unique player, brings their own flair to the games, turning an ordinary ball of yarn into an extraordinary adventure. First, we have the untamed explorer, a kitten with a heart full of curiosity. This tiny adventurer doesn't just play with the yarn, it embarks on a journey. Watch as it gets tangled in the yarn, a mischievous glint in its eyes. It's a playful struggle, a dance of sorts, as the kitten twists and turns, creating a whimsical web of wool around itself. Next up, we have the speedy chaser. This kitten is all about the thrill of the chase. It's all systems go when the yarn starts to roll. With lightning fast reflexes, the kitten darts after the rolling ball, its tiny paws skidding across the floor. The chase is on, and there's no stopping this determined little speedster until the yarn is safely within its grasp. Last but certainly not least, we have the pouncing predator. This kitten waits, watches, and when the moment is just right, pounces. A sudden leap, a flurry of fur, and the yarn is under siege. For this kitten, the yarn isn't just a toy, it's prey. It's a game of cat and, well, yarn. Each encounter with the yarn is a testament to the kitten's distinct personality. The explorer, entangled in a web of its own making, the chaser, relentless in pursuit, and the pouncer, patient and precise. Each kitten, with their own unique style, turns the yarn into a source of endless amusement. Yet, despite their different approaches, they all share one thing in common, an undeniable love for the game. The yarn may be simple, but through the eyes of these kittens, it's nothing short of magical. Each kitten, with their own unique style, turns the yarn into a source of endless amusement. But what happens when more than one kitten wants to play with the same ball of yarn? Imagine a playful tug of war between two kittens, each determined to claim the colorful ball of yarn as their own. Their tiny paws dig into the soft carpet as they pull with all their might, their eyes sparkling with the thrill of the challenge. Listen closely and you might just hear the softest of growls, a playful warning to their opponent. It's a sight to behold, this miniature battle of wills. Each kitten has their heart set on victory, their eyes never leaving the prize. They pounce, they pull, they roll, their tails flicking in excitement. The yarn, in all its multicolored glory, becomes a coveted trophy, a symbol of their playful might. Just when you think it's a stalemate, there's a sudden yank, a surprised mew, and one kitten stumbles back, the yarn slipping from her grasp. The other kitten, victorious, prances away, tail held high, and the victor emerges, the yarn now her spoils of war. All good things must come to an end, even for our playful kittens. As the sun begins to dip low in the sky, our furry friends start to wind down. The once irresistible allure of the colorful yarn now wanes as the kittens surrender to the gentle pull of fatigue. The once lively felines are now succumbing to the sweet lull of sleep. One little kitten, mid-pounce, suddenly loses the battle against its drooping eyelids and falls asleep in the most adorable fashion. Meanwhile, another kitten finds comfort in the softness of the yarn, curling up with it as if it were a fluffy pillow. The cosy image is enough to warm anyone's heart. The last kitten, after a moment's consideration, leaves the yarn alone 
and toddles over to join its sleeping siblings, ready to dream about tomorrow's adventures. As the day ends, so does their playtime, but the yarn will be there tomorrow, ready for another day of kitten antics.